Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Connor. And yesterday I had my birthday party. So I know that it's been quite a while um, since my birthday, but it just happened to work out yesterday. And today it is pouring rain and I don't really have anything to do. So I thought I would finally make a video that I've been completely forgetting to make. The one that you guys voted on. The 2000, I think it's a 5? H, yeah, Hummer H2. So this is the civilized version of the Hummer. And it's awesome. So, as you can tell, it's extremely lifted. It's just a super big vehicle. It's very tall. Hummer H2 on the back window, or H2. Got big flames all down the whole side. Um, like I already mentioned, big old rims or wheels. Um, side exhaust. A lot of chrome, which I know that's just something Hot Wheels... I think just used to like um there you go there's the bottom so this is really this is an old one um we found this at a store that sells die cast cars and i think it's super cool this is actually my sister kinsey's um and then i can do the top does have a um sunroof which is pretty cool got the big hood vent so yeah it's there's a lot of ground clearance um as you guys can see or i guess as you saw in the thumbnail um this is incredible for like off-roading dioramas um but it's just such a cool truck so or i guess suv depends on what you want to call it um, but yeah, it's just a really big, um, Hummer. I'll be right back with some more Hummers. Okay, so I am back with the rest of the Hummers. I would have done the Hummer EVs too, but, um, there's something else that I want to show you guys. So let's just come on, or, like, let's get going with this. And Yeah, so anyway, I guess the next one is this so this is a matchbox hummer h2 concept so as you can tell this one is like before they actually wanted to make it so it's just it's very wide at this point it was pretty low the ground hummer on the back bumper um it's it's pretty cool i found this one just I think I mainly just liked the um, Marine Rescue, which I thought was super cool. And you do have the fake canvas top, so that in real life that would open. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Then we have the Hot Wheels, different Hot Wheels Hummer. I think this is H1, I want to say, or... I think this actually might just be the generic. Yeah, so this one is just the generic Hummer. This isn't any, like, special version. This is just a Hummer. Um, it's got a deco on it. Um, All-Terrain Nationals. Team Noah. Number four. Pretty cool. Um, it does have a trailer hitch. It's a bit high, though, so can't really tow much with it. But, yeah, so this is just, and it is plastic, but that is just a, I guess, Hummer that is meant to look like a normal army one, but off-road race version, I guess. Then we have some Matchbox ones. So, I got this one um, from my cousin, who was just looking to get rid of some of his cars, and I found this one. At the time, I knew nothing about cars. I just liked the look of the um, 
red, black, and the white. And I still do. I think it looks really good, like, really nice. Not really much to tell about it, but got an odd symbol. Looks like a gear, maybe. Um, but yeah, so this could be like a zoo truck, is what I think of. But it could just be a special kind of army truck. I guess, not really sure. It can be whatever your imagination wants to be. And it is all metal. There's no even, there's not even any windows in it. It's just all metal. As you can tell, the windows are painted on. I just, that's a weird detail that I noticed, and proof, it is actually Matchbox. It's not some off-brand. So, I believe this one was from a, like, a Happy Meal or some kind of restaurant. Anyway, got a few more to get through. We have another Matchbox, but this one is actually... U.S. Army version. So, this one has a gun on the top, which I think was an odd choice for Matchbox, but, I mean, it's, it's cool, I guess. It does turn and can go full 360. I think it does unscrew. Maybe not, but... And this one is, like, the fancier version of... The one that I just showed, and this one also, has an opening, I guess you can call it, trunk. Yeah, it looks like some possible seating in, er, I, I'm not completely sure, it could be food storage, really again, whatever you want it to be. And then I have one more, this is the... Like an out of commission, like a decommissioned army one. It's another matchbox. It's orange, whitewater rafting. So I thought that this is just an odd one. This came in a five pack, like an adventure five pack. Um, pretty cool. Great windows. I believe it's because there's no interior. Um, so that's pretty cool either way. It's a nice matte orange. So, yeah, I really like it. Try to get it to focus. Yeah, white rims, some black accents. All look really cool. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video or the this part about the Hummers. But we've still got one more thing to get through. Um, I will be right back with my whole set cleared, so maybe that'll give you a hint. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with, like I said, everything cleared, and a much farther back view. So now you can see all the way back to here. Um, but anyway, I got these as a gift. So, really stinks. I asked for the wrong size. Um, so we're gonna have to return them. I will be purchasing the bigger size because I was the one who asked for them, and I was the one who made the mistake, but maybe you guys know what these are, maybe you don't. These are the Auto Flush Miata Kid Slippers. So I'll just take one out. Like I said, gonna have to make a return, but they are so cute. So there it is. You've got the pop-up headlights. Love them. Super, super cute. So as you can tell, they are slippers. Camera's not really gonna focus in there, but I mean, I can kind of stick my hand down in there. Um, but yeah, it is. They're just so cute. Anyway. Like I said, I need the bigger size. My feet are not that small. But um, if my Nana, who is the one who got these for me, is watching this, I just want you to know, do not worry about it. I still love them. Um, and thank you for the gift anyway. You got me exactly what I wanted. Um, like I said, it was my mistake. But either way, thank you so much. 
But yeah, so I guess this will be kind of a review of them while I still have them. I do own the original Auto Plush, like, mini, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, I guess I can do a quick review of these. So it is, it's just a generic, like, it looks like a, just feels kind of like foam on the bottom. And it's not just all going to be stuffing. On the inside, it is a different kind of material, material, but still, super cool. Um, the material is super soft. It's not really velvet, but it's, oh, it's, it's just, it's super soft, and I love them. Um, obviously, wheels are just, like, kind of hard plastic on there, kind of just like a mesh, almost. Bottom, it's just that same kind with just generic grip on them. Um, either way, pretty cool. Again, the front, got the pop-up headlights with the smile, I guess. <laughs> um, parking lights, little blinker there, door handle. All generic details, but really like, um, backlights, auto plush for the license plate. So, like I said, these are the kids' sizes. Um, so I guess if you have a kid that would like some Yada slippers, that I would say, I would say probably ages from like, I don't even know, maybe, oh, I would say about three to seven, maybe, three to six, um, because I would say that these fit my, like, a kindergartner. But yeah, so either way, super cute. Um, I highly recommend these, even though the price is quite a bit. I highly recommend them. They are so, so cute. And they're very, like, cushioned. They're super nice. Um, but yeah. So if, well, when I get the bigger size, the adult size, um... 100% I will be doing a video on them. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!